he, he performs very well in, in, in the support and employment part, then um, the social worker or the staff will consider maybe, ah, oh, we can connect him or her with an, uh, an employer in the open market. So it's a kind of training ladder. Um, ideally, all the people they come to the shelter workshop should target to to that that's the one day they can find a job yeah in the open market. But the fact is only for four percent. Other questions? your trainee in 2008 and after two years he become employed and is that every one of them need one to two years training time and how do you control uh, the training process because you know training uh, people with, uh, was, uh, with uh, intellectual disabilities uh, must be more, dif uh, more difficult and how do you control the time because you need more time to train them it's a very good question. Actually, and now we won't do two-year training for <laughs> <or> training <laughs> because at that time it's a, a kind of experiment we, we, we were doing in our rehab complex to set up a training bay. And at that time, um, it was our first time to do bakery training. We are not sure if it works for, for, for the people with different abilities. So uh, the, the, the the experiment time and uh, uh, yeah may allow us to, to do a longer training, but uh, now it will actually uh, will only maybe one or two weeks because um, as I so the ladder is a, a training ladder. So the training part will we hope yeah we expect to be confined in the surface like what I mentioned. Uh, the, uh, like the shelter workshop and the uh, support and employment. So because they have more manpower and more expertise to do the training, including the work motivation training. For us, if the, 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 the staff, they, he doesn't have work motivation, he's not motivated to work, we, we won't employ him. Because it's, it's not our work. The, 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 the difference is the training part should be uh, more focused and they have more manpower, more resources to do the training and prepare them for the open employment. And for us, social enterprise is also an option of open employment. But we are a more, I don't know, say, a more caring employer or an employer with um, a more tolerant employer. <laughs> I, I guess that you need more people than usually if you hire uh, people with disability to work. So will that make the bakery like less competent than other bakery in the market? And if, if so, how do you support it that it has a positive cash flow. Mm. Mm. This is uh, uh, always the, 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 the question and the problem we have to face every day. And um, that's why we really have to find our strength. And uh, the positioning of our products is also very important. We have to tell, um, um, if you, you can go to our Facebook and have a look when we, uh, what, how we do the, the promotion of our festive products like the CNY and like the, the, the Christmas products because it's a very, very competitive market. Uh, we focus, we tell customers that they are all handmade, locally, additive free. So for the product wise, we have this, we position our products like this. And, um, and um, all handmade products is, uh, is very suitable for us. So you can see from the video and you understand uh, why. And um, we have uh, to collaborate, also uh, to collaborate with uh, like uh, the five star hotels to find some new ideas on products. Keep pushing ourselves uh, to have something new. Otherwise, 
even though the uh, matcha cookies is is very good, it's very popular, still sells very good. But um, oh, it's, yeah, I I I have tried that. Yeah, it's it's not that excited when the customers oh always always the same. Oh, you you always have you always have the same products. It's not cannot attract them to come to our shop uh, again and again. So um, responding to your question, I think. Uh, we really have to work hard to push ourselves to have something new, and uh, sometimes it's very tiring. I think, <laughs> yeah, when uh, it, it 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 comes to the eighth year, the eighth year of I Bakery, and uh, uh, we we uh, we really want to do something, maybe something different. Like um, we are doing formulating our marketing plan for this year, 2018, and uh, we spend quite some time to think. Or maybe we have to break the pattern or do something really different. So I don't know. I can answer your question, but we are still yeah, working hard on this. I think Florence is very modest. You see, they have won so many recognition and awards. <laughs> There's a, a real evidence that they have done uh, really well. Any other questions? I have one last question. about the business structure of iBakery because you mentioned that there is no R&A team and how about other departments like maybe marketing? iBakery I, I relying on the resources of Dongwa or they got their own team? Uh, we have to rely on our own team. <laughs> yeah, because um, uh, the, the, the head office of Dongwa, they, they have to take care of, of a lot of things. So and, and also business is very new in, 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 in our organization. And it's better to keep everything yeah in our team. That we yeah we, we have more control and, and on 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 other So we do not have departments actually and uh, you can see we only have about one hundred and twenty staff and um, most of them are most of them are on, uh, on uh, like the bakery production or the cafe operation. So our core team at the back end office, maybe like eight people, uh, including the managers, uh, they have to, to supervise and oversee the daily operation. And uh, we call it a core team and a uh, very multitasking team, yeah, including myself. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just um, our our goal every day. The goal of yeah, every day we want to okay clear the things as fast as we can, and uh, if who uh, who can do it, uh, please do it. And um, it's very uh, luxurious to have two people to take care of one project. Usually, we hope uh, we can yeah all our core team members uh, has to work very independently. Uh, how do you see uh, the role of the NGO model in Tula versus this one here as a social enterprise model, or social innovation model? How would you see these two evolving in the future? For example, will the social enterprise model become a dominant part of Tula? Or will the NGO model still dominant or will they coexist? Or I don't know. What will, what will it be like I don't know, many years from now? I, I don't think we can become the dominant part, but I, I believe um, this social enterprise model will keep growing. Yeah, because Dongwa is huge, so uh, the, the charity part, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you, you can't take over that, it's too big. <laughs> because that is the, the root, eh? that's the root of uh, Dongwa. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Florence, uh, for your time. and. Guys, let's give Florence a big applause.